Hey friends, today we are going to talk about the artist Melissa McKinnon, and she is a contemporary landscape artist. And you can see this is a picture of her, what she looks like. Contemporary means that she is an artist who is living and working today, and her focus is landscape. So she often paints things to do with nature, such as here, these, this is a painting of birch trees. She does many different versions of birch trees. She also does beautiful paintings of skies and clouds. She uses acrylic paints to create lots of lots of layers of paint in her landscape, which make it rich in texture and color. So if we remember from last year, texture is the way something feels. So if you can kind of look at her paint brush strokes here, that paint is very, very thick. So if you would go go up close to her paintings and be able to touch her paintings, they would feel very, very bumpy because the, she does lots and lots of layers and overlaps of colors. So as I mentioned, she does many different versions of birch trees using different, different kinds of color combinations. So from last week, our review of color in the color wheel, you probably remember that half of the wheel are considered cool colors and the other half is considered warm colors. So in these two versions of birch tree, she chose to use a cool color palette. So these, so this, uh, you can see this very pale kind of mint green or yellow greens, sky blue, which is blue and white mixed together, some blues and some blue greens. And this one as well, she, you see yellow greens, greens, regular blue, light blues, and turquoises or aquas. She also does birch trees that use a warm color palette. So that would be colors that are on the opposite of side of the color wheel from the cools, which are as we you probably know reds oranges and yellows some red violets and if you remember the color brown the color brown is considered a warm color so in these two versions of her birch trees she actually goes around the whole color wheel but she uses color combinations called analogous and if you remember that word from the color wheel song that you, we that you heard last week analogous colors are colors that are next to each other on the color wheel so they blend and mix very very nicely so in this one she starts in this version she starts with the analogous colors red red oranges and oranges even a little bit of red violet so she goes by starting with violet here red violet reds red oranges and oranges and then in the center here she moves on to the green analogous colors blue greens greens and yellow greens and then down here she uses looks like blues and blue violets and this one she starts with looks like more warm colors like red violets and purples to blues to greens so as a review Complementary colors are colors that are opposite on the color wheel, such as purple and yellow, blue and orange, and red and green. They create a lot of contrast when placed side by side. But if you decide to mix them with paint, if you had yellow paint and purple paint, they neutralize, which means the colors get very dull and they turn into gray or brown. Analogous colors, as I mentioned, are colors that are next to each other on the color wheel, such as red violet, violet, and blue violet. You often see analogous colors found in nature, and they blend and mix very, very well with paint because they share relationships with each other. So red violet and violet both share the color violet as well as blue violet that also shares the color violet so these three would blend and mix very very nicely together all right friends i hope you enjoyed the slide presentation